Good morning. When Ginger asked me to participate in Laity Sunday for our 815 service, I readily agreed. My thinking was that I could easily relate to the scripture reading as it had to do with healing, and I always knew I wanted to be a nurse, although getting there proved to be a challenge. I grew up in a small community in southeast Iowa on a dairy farm and attended the local Methodist church. I was fortunate to have some of the most dedicated Sunday school teachers. They taught us many lessons from the Bible, had us learn important Bible passages, the 23rd Psalm, the Ten Commandments, the Beatitudes, etc. And when you had them all memorized and you understood their meaning, then you got a gold star on your chart. Then there was the Sunday evening MYF get-togethers. It was called Methodist Youth Fellowship back then. All in all, I had a very positive introduction to my Christian faith. Now, some of you know the next part of my story, so you can close your ears if you want. But for those who don't, when I was a senior in high school, just 18, I was diagnosed with myasthenia gravis, which is the better of its sister diseases to have. Those sister diseases are multiple sclerosis and muscular dystrophy. I had surgery early in the summer following graduation from high school with a 50-50 chance of surviving the operation, and as you can see, I did. There was never a doubt in my mind that God was going to make everything okay. The first night out of ICU, I woke in the middle of the night, only able to move my little finger and scratch the bed sheet. I felt very alone, and I was thinking, well, I thought God had more for me to do. Fortunately, my mom stayed with me that night and heard me scratch and got help. And don't ever, ever, ever under underestimate the hearing of a mother. So after that little hiccup, I went on to start college that fall. Much to the doubt of a lot of people that thought I wouldn't make it through the first year, let alone graduate. Okay, let's fast forward. <clears throat> I graduated, moved to New Jersey, was employed as a registered nurse at a local hospital, and my myasthenia went into remission. I worked medical surgical, became a head nurse, and then went into education, all at that same hospital. But I still felt ambitious and wanted to move into administration, which moved me to another hospital across the river. I thought I had the world by the tail. Boy, was I wrong. I found that I really, really, really did not like administration because of the politics, the challenges of, human, of unions, and the egos of the long white coats. But I was running full tilt, and now I was trying to figure out how I could return to bedside nursing or at some facsimile of it where I was happiest. Well, God apparently didn't think I was moving fast enough on that decision, so he tapped me on the shoulder with a full-blown return of the myasthenia, which that is a whole nother story. Bottom line, I got stabilized. I was able to return to nursing in a whole different role. I became part of a team working with elders and their families to plan for safe care options for older persons. I felt that I was contributing, contrib contributing to those in need again. Throughout my no life, I have known that God has been with me. He has supported me in many of my decisions. He's walked with me through the good and not so good times. I walked away from formally supporting him for a while and he still stayed by my side. Ginger related that the theme for this morning's service is gratitude, thankfulness, and thanksgiving. Well, I don't know about you, but I don't know how to separate the three. As in my mind and heart, they all run and roll together. As the, and as the lone leper who returned to Jesus, thanked him for healing him and praising God. I also thank God for all that he has given me. He placed people in my life that have supported me, have had faith in me, have laughed and cried with me, and so much more. I am eternally grateful for my parents and family who made sacrifices for me, for that little red-headed family doc who had a bottle of my medication antidote sitting on his desk for about five years, and the list goes on. 
There were those that were as determined as I, that I would graduate and walk across the stage to get my high school diploma, that I would graduate from college as an RN, and as I said, the list goes on. And this is the big one. He has given me the opportunity to share my life with my best friend, my strongest supporter, and my soulmate, my husband. The naysayers who said I couldn't or wouldn't make it didn't stand a chance for all those that said I could and I would. And the biggest one that kept telling me that was God. But God gave something else to John and I. He brought us on the road to this church. The many wonderful opportunities to worship and to spread his word in so very many ways. Each of you have welcomed us into this church family and we are very grateful for that and thankful to have each and every one of you in our lives. God brought us here. We just drove the car. Thank you.